So Sam, you know, does the Star, we know it's the country's most read paper, but what we also know is its troubles. So we spoke to, you know, its CEO, Roy Tan, who seems like a pretty cool guy, tech savvy as well. So, you know, what are his plans for the digital side of the business? Well, I think he was brought in like to transform the whole company, not just in terms of being digital, but uh, if we're going to break it down to that, then um, it seems like they're driving towards uh, a lot more of um, investments in things like dim sum okay. um, and also uh, gearing more towards um, creating content that has a longer shelf life uh, on the internet and not just news. Um, because one of the things he said was that news has a very short shelf life or yeah it uh, you know goes out of fashion quickly and con they want things that can keep consumers engaged so that's one um, they've also set up d different departments like mm -hmm. data analytics and uh, programmatic marketing and it seems like that is their drive so you know one of those strategies is dim sum it's only two years old but you know from the very beginning skeptics were they were only questioning the need for it because to have dim sum meant that the star would have to fork out more cash. But how did Roy defend and justify the necessity of dim sum? So he said when they started out, management was already well aware of the fact that it would be losing a lot of money. And we did ask you know, several times, like, um, but your print business isn't exactly at its peak anymore. Um, can you, how can you justify burning so much? He was saying that uh, all of it has been accounted for and it's meeting all its targets. And uh, we asked also about uh, competitors such as iFlix and he said, you know, we're definitely not burning cash the way they do. And um, well, being a lot more prudent, or the stars being a lot more prudent as a public listed company. Um, but they sort of differentiate themselves in the sense that they only offer Asian content. So it's very localized, very uh, vernacular and very specific to their target audiences in Southeast Asia. You know, seeing that post G14, all this perception, we were seeing companies in the media industry very badly affected. You know, people like Media Prima and Utusan Melayu. So, the star, will we see more job cuts? When we ask this question, and uh, maybe because it's slightly sensitive, uh, we weren't given a direct answer, but what Roy did say was that uh, he compared uh, himself um, as a 40 over year old person okay. to the star, which is also 40 over years old. And he said, uh, you know, I can get a lot healthier and fitter and the same way star can also, you know, get a lot healthier. And we sort of took that as a sign that, or it took it to mean that um, he sees the star being able to get a lot leaner and what exactly that involved, whether it will involve more job cuts, we yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. You know, the media industry is going through turbulence and so this analysis and sources that you spoke to, what did they have to say about the sector going forward, you know, at least for the short mm. term? Things are definitely not going to look good for print. Mm -hmm. uh, def that's definitely one of the things that I think most people are saying, you know, we don't expect to see ad revenue or ad, uh, ex ad ex for print going up mm -hmm. anytime soon. In the future, there's also the question of whether consolidation is going to happen, considering mm -hmm. how uh, badly media companies are struggling. But you know, having said that, Roy mentioned that the print will remain the star's core business. What's the game plan? So what he said was that when there is more me actually more media to consume um, in terms of digital, mm -hmm. what he's seen or the numbers that he has seen shows that people uh, actually consume more and different types of media. Mm -hmm. uh, so he still believes that there's still a space for people to consume print. But he says as long as there are eyeballs, which is what media companies want, people looking at their content, that is what matters to them. Did Roy mention you know, the the change in viewership or readership over the years, did he compare, mm -hmm. let's say, their current financial year to, let's say, a year ago? Well, we, we didn't really discuss okay. viewership numbers for mm -hmm. previous years. 
Uh, but he did say that after elections, definitely their uh, viewership or readership shot up. And circulation did increase, but we're not sure if that is actually something that was sustained mm -hmm. or can be sustained in the next few years or so going forward, or if it, that was just it just so happened that after elections everyone was a bit excited and bought newspapers. So dim sum aside, what is the star doing that you know is new? So one of the things uh, which we've been hearing about is that they actually have properties or mm -hmm. land mm -hmm. and uh, for instance they're closing down their Penang plant mm -hmm. and we're not sure what's going to happen to that but uh, Roy said that there is another division uh, under the star group which uh, he's not directly involved with right. that is actually looking at some of these properties and whether it might be ripe for redevelopment. Is or a property arm right? Uh, yes. Okay. We've seen a lot of things happening after G14 and we know that the star is owned by MCA. So can people still trust the star? What Roy responded to uh, when we asked about the political ownership mm. was that the star has always kept the same direction in terms of content and it always will. So one of the things he brought up was that they had this sort of uh, drive on moderation or the idea of moderation during the past election mm -hmm. um, in 2013 and he said that they carried that sort of principle forward to this election and to him it's about presenting both sides and uh, yeah on the question of political ownership when we asked if there was some like things like interference he said that he hasn't seen that uh, since he joined which was in 2013 okay. and he believes that like whatever Whoever owns the star, it is his job to just deliver returns from a financial perspective. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of the Age Weekly at all good newsstands.